Hey everybody, this is Wayne Freeman from Microchip Technology here. I'm at CES 2020 in booth S110. By the way, if you're out here, you need to get back here in the South Hall and see us. We are inside the Connected Home Showcase. This is actually, uh, you know, if you look around, an actual house, an actual home with rafters and all that stuff that we built inside of our booth to showcase both the technologies that we enable for the for the connected home as well as some of the end products that we'll talk about a little later um, that we enable that we are actually featured in because we are a manufacturer of semiconductors of course um, so I'm not the expert here on the connected home but what I've got is a roster of fantastic technical experts to talk about what we do here and how we enable the connected home. So I've got Ashish McDowell. Hey. That's over here in the corner. How are you doing? Doing well. Awesome, awesome. So you are the creator of basically, basically our connected home demo. So you're the best person to talk to about this. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're what we're seeing here? Uh, so what you see here is uh, mainly a, a p completely connected PoE powered. Uh, home which controls uh, lighting, ducting, some window uh, blind control, and some sensor stuff. That's awesome. I actually really like that in my house, just to kind of close the blinds whenever, like, you know, whenever it gets like really bright or sad or something like that. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, and over here, I'm looking at this this uh, panel, which looks like a control panel. So can you kind of tell me what I can do? Yeah. So this is our main central control hub for. Uh, uh, controlling everything in the home. This is where you can control the climate, okay. uh, open and close the blinds, and look at some security and sensor stuff that's happening in and around your house. And this is all powered using PoE. Wow, PoE is uh, power over Ethernet, right? Yes, yes. PoE it stands for power over Ethernet, and uh, it's an emergent technology where both data and power are shared using uh, the single Ethernet cable. And Microchip pl plays prominently in PoE technology. We have another live coming up about that, and we're going to go kind of dive into the technology behind that and what we enable but before we go into that I'm going to go back to Ashish um, so right now you know I'm looking at this like nice little tablet here mm -hmm. so I can control this from a tablet so obviously you know I can probably just pull out my phone or something like that and connect to it right yeah sure I mean our system is completely enabled to work with any uh, wireless gateways that you have out there and you should be able to control all of this remotely from any part of your any part of the world using your phone. So speaking of all of this, um, can you can you tell me how much of uh, all of this is a microchip product or uses microchip products? Good question. Uh, I mean, pretty much every single component on we have a few demo boards over here, display for display. Pretty much every single component on those boards is manufactured by microchip and uh, maybe a list of about 20, 25 parts is what we have up here, and that's enabled us to create this demo. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. So earlier you mentioned Wi-Fi, which has kind of been passing. Now, you know, myself included, um, have, you know, Wi-Fi in their homes to connect, you know, for the most part, uh, you know, boxes that's in, you know, entertainment type of data, computers and things like that to the house. Mm -hmm. Why are, are we not focusing on Wi-Fi, uh, or why, are, why POE over Wi-Fi for a setup like this? Uh, well, the whole idea here is that POE is more robust uh, because it's all hard-lined, mm -hmm. um, and POE also lets you move a lot of power. Uh -huh. and so you, if you want to control a light and it's wireless, you still have to power the light. So why not do it all in one cable? Yeah, that's probably one of the main reasons why you would want to use uh, PoE. But, and also the fact that scalability-wise, Wi-Fi mm. is a little uh, troublesome when you want to go for large industrial applications and also uh, in larger homes. Okay. So this type of technology will scale very well from uh, your typical residence all the way up until your your major large-size connected building, warehouse, and things like that. Yes. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, we were talking earlier about uh, Wi-Fi's role in, um, in this sort of infrastructure, um, and you mentioned that little box up there, um, you know, which is actually a Wi-Fi gateway, correct? Yeah. Yep, that's a Wi-Fi gateway, and uh, it's using one of our uh, uh, AVR IoT boards, uh, uh -huh. which I think you're going to talk about later. Um, and uh, that's what we use to connect to the Wi-Fi and uh, control all of this through our remote app. Well, it looks like an amazing... Uh, uh, coalescence of technology that we have here. And I'd like to thank you, Ashish, for your time. I know that we have people coming, kind of coming in and out through the house, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, but the next thing I want to do 
is talk about the technology behind all of these little boxes that we see up in the ceiling here. Um, they're all sensor nodes that Ashish mentioned. Uh, some of them are gateways, in, like, in, like the Wi-Fi gateway and things like that. Uh, and to do that, I actually have my buddy, my right. colleague. Hey, Wayne, how's it going? Oh, man, I have to introduce you before you just say, hey, Wayne, oh, how's right. it going? Apologize. This is Edwin Romero. Hey. He's a uh, marketing manager in our 8-bit mic uh, microcontroller team, which is, you know, just the best. Well, I, I don't, I don't want to say that's where I'm from, but yeah, it's kind of where I'm from. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm going to ask you a question. Shoot. I need you to answer it honestly. I'll try so, answer so it. Ethernet, you know, is kind of typically known as a fairly, uh, you know, size-intensive uh, stack. Right. Um, it, and it would seem that, you know, if you have all these boxes, I'm counting like 12 boxes up here. Yeah, I believe that's what they have, uh, 12 boxes of sensors and gateways. Okay. Would I... Would, you know, would I need to be running all these with, like, large memory, fast 32-bit processors? No, actually, surprisingly, all the gateways and sensors you see here uh, on the demo today, they're all run by 8-bit products. 8-bit? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. So how how did we do that as a company? Well, all of our 8- um, and 16-bit MCUs offer core-independent peripherals, which Ooh. help you implement a lot of the functionalities you need to add a sensor node. Um, we have analog, intelligent analog features that help eliminate a lot of the external components that typically you would have to add when you're doing sensor applications. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh. so, so it looks like the, the, with the core independent peripherals and the intelligent analog, you can kind of um, do more with a, you know, with a, a, a nice kind of lighter footprint, smaller, smaller pin count, smaller memory microcontroller. Right. Ah, okay. Uh, any, any, anything else you want to mention? Because I kind of cut you off. Oh, that's okay. No, I was going to say, because you're able to implement a lot of these applications, you're, you're, it helps you connect to you know wireless interfaces mm. and uh, you know connected um, ah, protocols. Okay. Yeah. So you have some like extra resources to connect to one of exactly. the excellent wireless modules like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth that we that we also offer as a company. Yep. Go check it out, microchip.com. Now, so. With that sort of technology, or in, in, in our 8-bit MCUs, I would assume it gets easier to, to develop because typically 8-bit microcontrollers, there's there's less resources to to manage, so it's kind of easier to build a little, you know, build your your application with. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. A lot of our basic functionality, you could do it with our um, code-generated applications like MCC, Start, and um, Harmony. Oh, very, yeah. very cool. Very yeah, cool. Yeah. So basically, I can just kind of. Go, uh, you know, say I want to build a wire, a wireless node. I can go to one of those tools yeah, and kind of maybe select a few, uh, a few characteristics that I want my wireless node to have, and it kind of generates most of the code for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, we have a lot of uh, code examples that you could take off uh, both of the, all those tools I just mentioned, and you could just grab and drop them and try to implement them to your application. Makes it a lot easy way to get started, at least concept-wise, and get used to going on the application. Man. I, I tell you, this look, I, I'm 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 very old, you know, and I remember when I when I went through engineering school, it was not this easy. So you guys have it very very easy. Um, so for the connected home, where we got all these stacks and stuff like that, it's still true. I can still go in, and it's super easy, really quickly, right? Yeah, definitely. We have a, a lot of tools available that you could uh, help you. We have this uh, IoT board that's based off. Of, um, you want to hold our, that up for the camera? Our, our eight bit products. Um, it has secure Wi-Fi and get you started. You can implement it and get you started right into the cloud. Look quick oh, that's really cool. That's actually, that looks looks a lot, very conspicuously like the same little red board that's kind of hanging off that Wi-Fi gateway up there. It is. It's actually the same board that's using our 8-bit product. And it's, uh, I believe, $29. You can go to our website and purchase one of these. To get you, you, ju you just blew my mind. Oh, my God. That was the whole pl the plan for today, <laughs> blow, to blow Wayne's mind. Sorry. All right, cool. Well, I think, uh, you know, for this live, I think we want to call it a wrap, but thank you for joining us, CES 2020 Microchip Booth. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be actually coming back uh, several times during the day to talk with various experts within our, uh, our organization and our booth. If you have any questions for them, send an email to, email to, to, uh, to livestream at microchip.com. I have to remember that. Livestream at microchip.com. And so the next one we're going to do is actually the, the backbone and the brains behind the connected home. It's the POE switch. It's a microchip product. So you're going to want to tune in in about an hour, and we're going to be 
really, really diving into that. So thank you very much for watching. Come back. Send us an email.